So I need a new home router upgrade, so I grab this Microtik Hex off of Amazon as I'm moving towards 1 gigabit line speed. So looking at the specs, it's not immediately obvious if this router is capable of 1 gigabit NAT in both directions. So I'm going to show you how you can test that. Hi, I'm Matt, welcome to Crazy Logic. So for this test, I'm using a piece of software called iPerf, specifically version 2, and two machines. Firstly, I'm going to set up iPerf on both machines under Ubuntu environments with a cable directly connected between the two machines and static IPs of 10.10.10.10 and 10.10.10.11. As you can see, I get a result of 9.30ish, which is a typical speed you'll get from a cable and config like this. Now I'm going to change the dot .11 machine back to get an IP from DHCP from the Mictic router. I'll set up the router internet interface to be 10.10.10.11 with a gateway of 10.10.10.10 and plug the other machine into one of the other LAN ports. This is a very common setup with the 10 dot network representing the internet and what will be the 192 dot network representing the LAN. To test the IP configuration I'll do a quick ping to confirm all the settings are correct. Attempting to quickly iperf between the two you'll see that I only get traffic passing in one direction. This is expected as the default firewall rules are set to reject incoming packets so we need to add a firewall NAT rule for the inbound traffic. So head into the webfig, the IP, firewall, and then NAT, and then add a NAT rule. Set the destination address to be 10.10.10.11. Set the destination port to be 5001. Set the action to be destination NAT, and then set the to address to be the host on the LAN site, which is 192.168.88.254 for me. And hit apply at the top. Now I can connect from the LAN side to the WAN side server and reverse using iperf, and I get a result of 930-ish in both directions. So this router, this router can NAT at 1 gigabit a second in both directions, which is great. I thought this would make an interesting video on how you can test something like this um, quite easily. So thanks for watching. The code I've used for this is in the description. Comment down below and like and subscribe.